Hello everyone, welcome to a video where I'm going to show you how to retip your cue, okay, from beginning to the end, okay, go through the simple steps that you must do. Now, to begin with, this is my old tip and it's starting to wear, so you can either just flick it off, just like that with your, your thumb, okay, or use the Stanley knife to cut it off, okay, so once you've taken it off, then you get the, the Stanley knife. Always make sure you have a sharp blade and you can see the excess of the tip still stuck to the ferrule. You need to cut that off so it's level so you can re-stick the new tip on. Okay, so just put the blade on top of the cue just like that. Okay, make sure you're holding the blade level when you're pulling it across. Don't dig down because you'll start taking chunks out of your ferrule. So you don't want that happening. So it's just nicely going across. Take your time. Never rush putting it on because you can damage your cue and your ferrule and you don't want that happening. So, okay, once you've got it all level, you can feel that it's level across there, nice and smooth. Okay, next step is the tip. Okay, and today's tip I'm going to be putting on is a Legend LT2 tip. I like these tips, they're very good. Okay, so I'm going to be putting one of these on the cue. Okay, and when you take them out, the trick, if you don't want all the blue stuff over your fingers, when you put the tips on, when you're handling them, get yourself a cloth and just rub on the cloth over the tip okay and then when you handle it you won't get as much blue stuff all over your fingers you still get some on there but there's not much you can do about that okay so that's the tip that I'm going to be putting on to the cue now before you stick the tip on you should always put the tip on top first and check to see if you can see any gaps when you're sitting the tip on the top. If the ferrule is not level, because you might have when you scrape with the Stanley knife. Okay, so make sure it's level. Yep, all level. Okay, next part is you just get a piece of sandpaper. On a brand new tip, you need to rub off the, the bottom of it to make it nice and smooth. Always just rub it till you see, see how it's starting to change colour, going from dark blue to light. Okay, rub it till you see the light blue all on the bottom, which I'll show you in a second. Always do it on a flat surface. Okay, just a little bit more. This will make it stick a lot better. I always do it to it where you can see that it's almost completely light blue on the back. Just a little bit more. As you can see, it's gone to a light blue colour. Okay. Now it's ready to be stuck onto the cue. Okay, step two, it's blue. Okay, I'm going to be putting my tip on just with some Loctite glue. Dries really quick. Very good glue. Okay, so take your lid off. Always make sure you've cleaned the nozzle from before. Makes it easier for it to come out straight away. Okay, now putting the glue on, you just put just a drop. Always make sure that you can see in the light. So I'm just going to put a drop on around the top. Okay, always just swirl it around over the, once you've got your drop, over the tip using the nozzle. Okay, simple as that. Now you place the tip on top of the shiny bit just 
put it on only just then you can just tap it around with your finger till you get it centered let it stick just for a split second once you think you've got it um, stuck to the barrel then slowly just tap your finger gentle a little bit harder onto the tip because you need to compress the tip to the ferrule tight to squeeze the bubbles out of the glue so it'll stick better okay so you push it down a little bit better a little bit more okay all right nice push down Okay, now pushing down harder because it's starting to stick. Okay, then once you've done that, turn the cue upside down. Do it where you can see, hopefully. And push down on the cue just a little bit, put a bit of pressure straight up down like that, just for a split second. Just you just push just a little bit. Now we've squashed out all the air from the glue. And now it's ready to just sit for five minutes and it'll dry and then we can go to the next spot and cut the, the tip and one other thing you have to do while, before you let it set is when you've squashed it down all the glue comes out so you just get a cloth or napkin just run it around the top to wipe that glue away if you don't want that sticking there make sure you don't get it on the wood so you just hold the rag there and just turn the cue till it comes off. Now we just leave it for five, ten minutes for it to dry and we go to the next stage. Okay, so we'll be back in five minutes. Okay, back to the tip. I've left it for ten minutes for it to dry. It's nice and stuck now. Okay, so then we're up to the next part. We need to trim the tip down around the edges of the ferrule. Okay, so always use a flat surface. Okay, and when you're using a sharp blade, always put something on top of the surface that you use if you don't want it scratched. Okay, so I've used it just a bit of cardboard. Okay, put the cube upside down for when you want to cut the Tip. always make sure you're using a sharp blade okay and then put the blade up against the ferrule just slightly and just slightly cut the tip okay that's the trick to getting your tip nice and even a lot of people tend to push the blade paste the blade in and then you end up with a, a bad shape to your tip when you go to shape your tip you don't want that okay you just take your time I never rush putting a tip on always take my time just slowly cut it it take your five minutes take your five minutes better to do it properly once than do it again when you don't have to okay so Take your time, this is the key. Now you can see that I'm starting to get the right cutting to it. See another big chunk, I want to almost take by accident. That's why I take your time. If you feel like it's starting to struggle with the blade, just pull the blade back up and try to cut a thinner piece off first. Yeah. Okay, you don't want to pull the tip and stretch the tip too. That's another key thing when doing a tip. You don't want to stretch it. You want it to stay nice, compact. Okay, so nicely around. Getting nearly done. I like to get them very perfect around the edge. So when you're looking down the cue, you don't see any tip. 
oddly shaped when looking down. That is another key thing. So I like to get it very even, which you'll see in a minute. So I'll show you. Okay, just gonna check how I've done. Okay, that's pretty good. Just gotta do just a little bit more. So take your time. You only got to put a tip on once, and it'll last you a while. If you do it right. Okay. As you can see, I've cut nicely around the edge. Now, so all I have to do is just double check it. Yes, that's pretty good. Okay, nice and even around the sides. Oh, just a little bit there. Just make it short. Do one more. Quick trim around. Just run the blade around straight. You can do it a lot faster now because I've cut the main bit off. This is just a double check to make sure I've gone around even. Okay, now it's sitting really good, nice, even around the sides. Now, hopefully you can see it. Okay, so now all I have to do now, the next step, is get yourself a piece of sandpaper. Okay, and now this is very easy to shape your tip. Okay, before you sand it, but a lot of people get sandpaper, you can do just sandpaper and go down and turn the cue like that. All you do is keep going straight down and keep turning the cue and shape it. But if you want to save time and not stand there for 10 minutes doing that, you can just get the file just like this, hold the cue like that. Always put your finger over the wood bit, protect the wood. Okay, so you won't hit the wood when you're going down. Just go like that on an angle on your tip and keep turning your tip to take away the, the pointy edge to begin with. Okay, just like this. Down an angle, keep turning the cue. You'll see around the edge it, where it's taken the shape so it's not pointy. This is where you start to get the dome shape that you're after. Okay, nice and easy as you can see. I took around the edge bit. Hopefully you can see that. So now all I have to do is get some sandpaper. Now hold it in your hand like that. Hold the cue and go down an angle, but keep spinning your cue with your fingers while doing it. Keep doing that till you get the shape that you're after. Okay, so you go from the, the top of the middle of the tip down on an angle. Very easy, just keep spinning the cue. And just keep turning the cue while you're going down with the sandpaper. If you see a dark Spot at the top of the tip, just go over it and keep spinning the cue till you get rid of that too. This will give you the perfect shape. Once that goes, that's normally when you've got a really good shape by doing this. Okay, you keep turning it, turning, turning, turning. Just going to check under the light how I've done. This is very good. Okay, now that's a nice tip, very well shaped. That's the good thing about these legend tips, they shape very easy, as they say, just cut and shape. Very easy tips to shape, I love them.
and they hit the ball magic. Okay, now, after you've done that, a lot of people don't know this trick, but I'm going to show you because you have to seal the sides of the tip. Otherwise, if you don't seal the sides of the tip, it can split. And that is an old trick I learned from years ago from some of my friends and I've always used it. And it's pretty simple. All you have to do to harden the lever around the side so it won't split on you is lick your finger and run it around the side of the tip till you've covered all the till you cover all the tip. So pretty simple. Make sure you get it. Don't be scared to get your tip wet. It's not gonna hurt, only just this little bit. Go around like that. Okay, then grab the back of the sandpaper. Don't use the back of the sandpaper, don't use the front of it. And just gentle rub up and down using the back of the sandpaper until you can see the side of the tip go shiny just a little bit at sealing the lever. Okay. Just like so. Don't have to do it much. Okay, now it's nice and sealed. And it shouldn't split. And that is a perfect tip. Now, only one more thing you have to do to make sure your tip's really good is you get the file. Get yourself a file. It's got the pretty good grooves on it. Okay. When I go and play in tournaments, I buy one of these files and I cut it to a little size and I take it with me. Okay. So whenever you accuse the tips just a little bit too shiny, you just get the file out and put it on one side on an angle like that and, and just run your tip, the file over the tip like that. Just a couple of times. Okay. And she's ready to be chalked and played and the chalk will stick to it. Okay. So all we have to do now is chalk it, get the chalk. As you can hear, a nice crisp sound. Okay, you ain't gonna get a crisper sound than that. That's why these tips are really good and I like it. If you get a bad tip when you chalk it, it'll make a horrible sound. That's a nice crisp sound. Okay, so that's how you put a tip on, guys. And you should always clean up your ferrule too when you do your tip. And I just use some of this stuff. Okay, steel wool, it's brilliant stuff. Okay, it's super fine. You just tear off a little bit. Very simple to do. Okay, got yourself just a little bit of steel wool. Now I just clean up my ferrule, run it around the sides. Okay, just in case I've got a little bit of glue on there. Okay, just check under the light. Okay, and that's how you put a tip on, guys. Hopefully you enjoy it, and if you ever have to put a tip on, you know how to do it now. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.